let's talk about pub. We are coming upon our two year anniversary of the acquisition of People's United Bank. So I wanna get your thoughts and your reflections on who are we in that market? How are we doing? Mm -hmm. And most importantly, how are we building trust in communities that are newer to us? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you said newer to us. because They're not new communities, but they're newer to us. So, uh, so first of all, you know I'm a New Englander. I do right? know. So really important. I, it, it, I'm a bit, a bit biased. I'm excited to sort of bring the capabilities and the firm that I, that I, I love at M&T into to my home region. Um, I think, though, as a, as a New Englander, you know, we tend to um, uh, want to see success and want to see evidence of things actually getting done. And we're a little bit skeptical of the idea of uh, promises that might come. I think in our journey in New England, we're just beginning to see the results. So if you think about an acquisition, we often talk about it taking seven years, which usually makes most bankers cringe. Um, but, but it is a long process. I mean, today we're two years in, two years ago, April 1st. Mm -hmm. uh, we've converted all the systems. We're all on one set of, set of systems and we're able to begin to, to operate, but we're learning a lot. So we learned that even though we're on the same systems and platforms, which actually lower our volatility and, and, and make it easier to operate, that there are a lot of things that we could do differently that our colleagues from New England have shared with us that actually apply to the entire footprint. Different ways of doing business, different experiences that they've seen as the success. And that's always a, a real positive thing. So it, gives you a new set of opportunities to begin to, um, uh, to focus on. Um, when I think about why does it take seven years, is because it's all of those relationships that you're building one by one in the communities. 